blimey hi guys it's ali welcome back to my channel today i've got a craft supply haul to share with you and this is all of the craft products that i bought in march i've got an order from crafters companion i've got some stuff from tonic which is the new sweet sorbet collection I've got an order from wow embossing an order from clearly besotted i think there's a couple of other random things in here as well because there's quite a lot of mediums in this haul i'm actually going to swatch those so if you're interested in that just stay tuned to the end of the video i hope you enjoy the video and if you do please give it a big thumbs up so that really helps my channel and subscribe because i do a haul like this every month i do aliexpress craft hauls and i do lots of card making tutorials as well let's get into this very exciting box shall we so the first things i have to share with you are from crafters companion so probably the thing that i was most excited about even though <laughs> it's um quite a small thing but these mini tags they are as you can see i got two of them but they're both the same um, and they are a set of mini tags there's 30 pieces in here and they're in sort of off-white black and craft the sentiments are thank you just to say with love thanks just for you and celebrate some of them have got little fishtail ends some of them are just squared off on the end as well and i thought these are just really really handy to have when you need to add a sentiment to something quickly so they make a really nice sentiment to finish off a card i also got the card toppers from the the baby themed collection i've already got the paper pack because they sent me this in a pr package um, if you haven't seen that video about the Violet Studio Collection, I'll link it up in the cards for you. You can go and check it out. And I really wanted to get the toppers as well because I want to make a video where I use up this whole paper pad and make a bunch of cards with it. Do let me know if you're interested in seeing a video like that because I really like to watch them, but I'm not sure if you guys are interested in seeing that. So do let me know if that's something you would like to watch and if so, I will try and do it soon. So these card toppers, there's 28 pieces in here and you get a variety of different designs. On the back of the Violet Studio packaging, they always have all the different designs that you get, which I think is really nice because you don't have to open it and have a look inside. Because once you open this packaging, like you know, it's, it's open, you're not going to be able to seal it back up again. But I do quite like these little round pods on the front. I think it kind of minimises the plastic a little bit and I can definitely see myself using this to actually make into a shaker card. You can buy things like this from companies that sell them for shaker cards. So um, I definitely want to have a go at reusing the packaging. So there's some little sentiments in here. There's a tag, there's a couple of frames, there's some little elements. Just a really, really nice ephemera pack that I think would be really lovely for cards. I know they, they say it's for cards, but you could definitely use this for a scrapbook layout as well if you wanted to. Also from Violet Studio, I got this paper pad. Mm, it does have a name, but I can't remember what the name is. And I don't think it's actually printed on the pad. I can't see it anywhere. All the, all the links to all of the products features in this video, I'll pop in the description box for you anyway. And I always put them in the order that they appear in the video, so they're really easy to find. I'm just gonna open this so we can have a little flick through it. So this one is 180 GSM and there are 10 designs and it's a six by six pad. Because it's six by six, I definitely could use this on a card. I don't think it's, you know, too overpowering. I'd probably just trim a little bit off the edge and use it on a six by six card base. So there's three of each design in this paper pad. I really like the color scheme that they've used. It's like a little bit different. Got some nice sentiments on there. A few more little round ones. I think these would work nicely as sub sentiments on cards and then maybe on scrapbook layouts too if you cut them out. I've got this one, You Go Girl. That's a nice one that you could use to make a card really easily. And then you've of course got your nice basic patterns to go along with them. So that's a really nice spot pattern. It's another nice text one. That's really pretty. I like the colours in that. Got the circles again. I think this is a slightly different colour scheme that's really nice too and then we've got the dots in pink that's a nice colour got some little speech bubbles that's really cool I like that the last one is this one which is a nice blue yeah I really like that I think um that's a really nice one that you could make a whole bunch of easy cards with there is also a tropical one. If you guys watched my original Violet Studio video, I actually said I really hope they come out with a tropical one and they did, so clearly I read their minds. <laughs> um, I've ordered that, but that's gonna be coming in next month's haul because that one hasn't arrived yet. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that video. Then the only other things I got from Crafters Companion was some stamps. I really just wanted to get free shipping. <laughs> this is like a recurring theme on my channel. I don't like paying for shipping. I got this peacock set. Um, I'm not sure why I went for this. I just really like this big peacock image here. I don't have any peacock stamps. So that's what the stamp set looks like. You get this big P 
peacock element that's really nice you get this sort of corner pattern which is inspired by peacock feathers and you get three different peacock feathers and three sentiments you get thank you today is all about you and sending happy thoughts i just thought that was a really really nice set something a little bit different you can get a bit arty with that i just discovered connie fong and her artwork is so so pretty there's quite a few different ones but i just got these two because i thought they were the cutest so this one is called molly's joy and you get this really adorable little girl with her joy bunting here um the full stamp set is this so you get the cute little girl you get some mittens and a hat you get some little snowflakes this little decorative piece here and then three sentiments joy to the world sending love and joy and just a little christmas note and great for coloring let's just pop it open and see the size it's quite big so it's a perfect focal image to go on a card i think that one you can have plenty of fun coloring in because there's lots of nice little details but nothing's like too small i think sometimes when you get detailed stamps there's like really small pieces but i don't think that's going to be a problem with this one so so pretty i can't wait to use that one and then the other one is quite similar this one is sally's christmas friends and this one is a little girl decorating a christmas tree there's the full set on the back there let's pop this one open so you can see it a little bit better so she's decorating her christmas tree and she's got two little robins helping her she's got the most adorable little christmas outfit there's even like a little bit of snow on the ground here little presents you get extra presents to stamp there's a big bow and a poinsettia as well and then you get the sentiments ho 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 do not open until christmas and a wish for everything merry so it's really really nice this is going to make a gorgeous focal point on a card it's just the right size to make something really show-stopping so i love that they include as well the colored in examples on the packaging because you can refer to this and if you wanted to copy it, it just gives you a little bit of inspiration to color it in let's move on so the next one i'm going to share with you is the clearly besotted release from the beginning of march this month um as usual i got the full bundle so i've got all the stamp sets i think this is an extra one that I got in the sale, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. And I've got the papers that come in the bundle and also the stencil. This is the Clearly Besotted Around About stencil and you've got all these cute little round elements to build yourself a little scene. That is really, really handy when you're building your little round scenes. And I think there is a few elements in here to build round scenes so also there are the papers. Every month in the bundle, they send you a bunch of six by six papers in sort of a colour scheme to inspire you for that month which I think is, is really really nice. So you always get six sheets and these are the colours for this month. This side we've got big polka dots and this side we've got stripes. I think this is a really really nice early fresh summery theme. I really like those. And then we have all the stamp sets. So if I do this one, this one wasn't part of the bundle. I think I got this one in their sale and I just really like the big flowers. I thought they'd be really nice to stamp and watercolour um, so I picked that one up and it was only five pounds they've always got some really good bargains in their sale really handy one to have in the stash this one was exclusive to the bundle this one's called piping up I think it's inspired by like icing like piped icing so these are all sentiments so you've got birthday thanks hello happy and exo all in this cute little piping inspired font and then the other sentiments are nom nom hi yum we hope you have an ice today. You're sweet. You are the sweetest thing in my life. You're the icing on my cake. XO, sweetie pie and B. So this one is really, really fantastic to go with this next one, which is called Bake Off. And it's all these cute little critters um, doing some baking. I'm actually getting my kitchen renovated at the end of April. So I'm very excited to be able to do baking again. I haven't had a working oven for two years and the amount of cakes and pies I'm going to be making, you guys have no idea. <laughs> These adorable little animals, you've got a couple of bears, there's a couple of bunnies and a couple of mice. And there's also a little kitchen scene down here at the bottom, which I think is really cute. And lots of little extra elements. So there is a little broken egg here. This is a bowl, a rolling pin. And then the critters have got, you know, like a little stack of eggs, a spoon, a whisk. And then the sentiments in this one are, hi, all you need is love, yum. This is how I roll. Bake the world a better place. Baking bad, which is obviously a reference to Breaking Bad. If there are any Breaking Bad fans watching. Life is what you bake it. Oops. And bake off. So I really, really like that. I love that they've put a plant on top of the fridge. <laughs> also in last month's release, we have Picnic Party 
which is a stamp set all about having a picnic. So you've got this adorable little outdoor picnic. And then you've also got the picnic rug to stamp over the top, which I think is really clever to include that. Just fits in the little gap here. So you can do the picnic rug plain if you wanted to, or you can have a little tartan rug. How clever. There's also bunting. There's a bunch of little fruit and food elements, a little teapot, a basket, a couple of sentiments. You've got happy days, yum, my happy places with you, nom, enjoy, hi, and take time to enjoy the little things. And then, of course, we've got the little critters who are all enjoying their picnic together. They're so, so cute. I love this one. It's got the pop-up travels set. This, I just find this so adorable. You've got these little critters that are peeking out and then you've got all the things to make them peek out of. So there's a helicopter, a car, a train and a little carriage for the train. And then this really, really pretty hot air balloon. And I love all the little stitching details on these elements. I think that's a really, really nice extra touch that they've included. Sentiments in this one are happy travels, all aboard, you're going places, yay, hi, exo, choo, ha, bon voyage. Also got this one, which is called smooth sailing. So if I've got any fans of uh, nautical elements watching, this one is probably the one for you. We've got all these adorable little sailor critters and their little sailor hats. Um, there's a little duck here doing some fishing. You've got a pirate hat, so if you wanted to make them all pirates, you can. Um, there's a live boy here. There's this adorable little boat and a load of seagulls and fish. So they've really given you all the things you need here to make a really lovely sea scene, haven't they? And the sentiments for this one, sailing by to say hi, seize the day, ahoy there, birthday boy, hi, splash, hey girlfriend, exo, birthday gull, and it's time to say celebrate. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> Love puns. Two more sets to look at. We've got all round farm fun. So this one is based around this big round element. We've got this little farmer guy down here and then we've got all his animals. You've got pig, there's some sheep, there's a little cow, there's a horse. That one, that one's a goat, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's a little duck as well. That's so adorable. We've also got straw, a mini little tractor, and a, and a puddle here, which I'm guessing like the pig would be sitting in that. Maybe that's mud. <laughs> Maybe it's not a puddle after all, but it's a stamp. You can colour it whatever colour you like and make it whatever you want. The sentiments in this one are E-I-E-I-L-O, -E -E which is like Old MacDonald had a farm song, isn't it? Yeah. You rock, as in you, as in sheep. Moo, hi, bar, you're the G-O-A-T, which obviously spells goat. <laughs> And XO, and I just think this sounds really, really cute. I love all the little animals. I think they're just the perfect size to like pop on this little round element. And you could just have this as the focal point of your card, an animal or two, and then your sentiment. And I think that will just look, will just look really adorable. But you can obviously use it in lots of other ways as well. You can make a whole scene. Last stamp set I've got here is all four seasons sheep. So these sheep, they are living their lives. <laughs> they're all themed around different seasons. Hello, Oscar. Have you come to join in? Hmm? Yeah? Have you got something to say? Come on. Hello? Hey? What do you think? You're like, why is there a plant on the desk, aren't you? No, don't, don't play with that. That's very sharp. Time for a nap now. Does that take it out of you, that? Big jump. So we've got all these adorable little sheep enjoying the sunshine. There's one There's one having a little drink there in his little rubber ring, which is cute. We've got some with their scarves on. This guy's playing in a pile of leaves. We've got an Easter themed one. There's a little sheep for every occasion. There's even like a little one popping out of a birthday present there and one with a balloon, which would make a great birthday card. I think you could also make like a bunch of tags with these or like a little mini album i think that would be really cute the sentiments in this one are i'm feeling sheepish i'm sorry bar miss you exo love you and hi so that is all of my clearly besotted stamps for this month as always i'm very pleased with my clearly besotted stamps and i have no doubt i will be ordering the set uh, in april as well <laughs> Okay, so a couple of random things now, actually. I saw this book on an Instagram ad. Um, the amount of things I buy because I see them on an Instagram ad is a little bit worrying, but <laughs> the ad algorithm knows me a bit too well, essentially. And this is a book written by a gallery and has contributions from loads of artists from that gallery. And it's essentially a little book about how to set yourself up for a career as an artist. Like I'm, I'm so I'm not considering like quitting my job tomorrow to become an artist, <laughs> but 
I just thought this would be a really, really interesting book to read. And I do really want to explore my kind of art and design practice a little bit more. I did study art uh, at A-level and I did really enjoy it. I, did, I stopped doing it because I didn't want to do it as a career. I wish I hadn't stopped doing it because it, you know, it doesn't have to make you money. If you want to do something because you enjoy it, that is just as valid. Um, anyway, enough about that. I just picked up this book because I thought it'd be really a really interesting read. And it's split into different chapters. So like how to find your inspiration, if you have writer's block, about social media, building your profile, how to get noticed, finding an audience all kinds of different things and it's like real advice from real artists and all kinds of different artists as well and it's such a nice little book like it's a just you know just like a little read it's not too long nice little book to have and refer back to and just you know pop in your bag and read on the go the other thing i got i think i did originally find this illustrator from an instagram ad but like i follow her now so this is from an illustrator called amber davenport and she recently released washi tapes so there is a moth one, moths and butterflies. It's just really, really pretty with her little illustrations on. Hopefully you can see that okay, it is quite small. There's also a shell one, which was really pretty. I don't buy a ton of washi tape, but I just love these so much I had to get some. And there's also this fishy one with these adorable little fishies on. So they were really, really cute. I think they're about 2 99 each, which I thought was quite reasonable and they're 10 meters each so that's plenty so i didn't have to pay shipping and also because she's you know she's a small illustrator i wanted to support her a little bit more i bought one of her prints so this is the print that i bought it's just an a5 print and it is a fruit print and it has all these gorgeous illustrations of fruit she has a couple of different ones of these but this one had the lemon on so this is the one i got <laughs> i think she's painted these in gouache and then this is a digital print um, I just really, really, really love the colours. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I might put it up in my craft room or I might put it in the kitchen. I'm, I've not I've not decided yet. Those are a few little extra little bits. I do buy quite a lot of stuff from bigger brands, but every month I do try to support some small brands wherever I can. So I also ordered from Wow Embossing. I got this set. They do quite a lot of these sets. They're either similar or they're in like a colour palette. So this is the Ancient Jewels Embossing Glitters and it says inspired by Raquel Barillo Perez. The colours are Decadent Ruby, Egyptian Turquoise and Royal Emerald. And this is what they look like close up. It's kind of hard to tell but um, that one was Decadent Ruby. And we've got Egyptian Turquoise in there and then royal emerald as well like i said i'm gonna do swatches of all of these at the end of the video so if you want to see exactly what all of these look like and the rest of the mediums that i'm going to show you in a minute then stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see all of those these are some quite basic ones so i always use the opaque bright white that's the one that i use the most and i wanted to get a big jar of it but it was actually sold out and um, so i just got the small one instead that's fine and then for something a little bit different, I also got opaque vanilla white, um, which they look almost the same, but this one is slightly more sort of creamy yellow toned. And then these were the three that I saw on Instagram that really made me want to order from WOW. So these are from the collaboration with Alexander Renke. These are kind of, they're not glitters. They're like really chunky embossing powders in different colours. Maybe like, a, I guess, a marbled effect. I got these three colours. There is Silly's Fog, Shenny's Sky and Manuela's Honey. Um, I'll put the picture that I saw on the Instagram that made me want these on the screen for you. But we'll check out what they look like in real life at the end of the video. I'm quite excited to try these out. And the very last place that I have to share with you today is my order from Tonic. So Tonic came out with their first collection of the year and it is the Sweet Sorbet collection. And I just kind of fell in love with the whole colour palette. It's really like pastel-y and girly, which is not, it's not necessarily what I always go for, but I really liked it. So I, I got... I got most of the collection. I didn't get the whole collection just because I didn't think I would use everything. So from the Sweet Sorbet collection, um, I got most of the mediums. I got the two embellishment mousses. They're in pink unicorn and angel eyes and they're like really pretty pastel 
colours. If you've watched my embellishment mousse video, I'll link it up in the cards, where I show you lots of different techniques you can do with embellishment mousses. You probably have guessed that I really like the embellishment mousses. So when I saw they came out with these two really, really pretty pastel colours, I really wanted to get them. I also got the Glacier Paste. Glacier Paste is in Pixie Wings, and it's this really, really pretty lilac. These are like a, a shimmery, like, mica paste i guess they're different to their glimmer pastes they don't pick up the color as much when you use them on top of your cardstock i've only got four galatia pastes and i don't know how the purple one so i'm looking forward to trying that one out also got one of the embossing powders they had two embossing powders in this collection but one was yellow and i thought when am i going to use yellow embossing powder <laughs> it won't show up on anything so i just got the pink one this is in the shade fairy dust and it's just this really, really pretty pastel pink and there's quite a lot of glitter in there. My camera is having a tough time focusing on that. Yeah, you can see the glitter in there. I really like the colour of it. I think I only have one other Nouveau embossing powder, but I just really like this colour. Also got a couple of the Nouveau drops. So I got the jewel drops and the crystal drops from the collection. The jewel drops are in the shade Pink Aura and the crystal drops are in the shade French Lilac. The difference is that the jewel drops dry sort of translucent, so they look more like jewels, and then the crystal drops, they either dry like opaque, like this one is an opaque sort of creamy one, um, or they they also have glitter ones as well. I think I only have a couple of jewel drops, but I really like the, little, the pink colour, and then the lilac was just really nice. I really like that, so I wanted to add these to my collection. I also got the sparkle spray. Now, I haven't tried any of the tonic sprays before, so I was quite intrigued by this. It's it's quite small, isn't it? I think this was 5 99 and it, it's a small guy, um, <laughs> but that's fine. You only need a little bit, don't you? You're probably going to laugh at me, but the reason that I ordered this, I think, is because it's called Frosted Lemon. <laughs> Genuinely can't help myself. So this is a mica spray, and it's like a glittery yellowy gold color the last medium thing i got is the ink pad set this is the sweet sorbet hybrid ink pad set and i just really liked this color palette i've got one other hybrid ink pad set which is this one this is the merry and bright set i think i have i have used this one but i definitely need to use it a little bit more <laughs> so i am excited to try this color palette out i think it's just it's really nice to have a bunch of this stuff and just use it all together it's just like a little bit of a challenge because you know everything is going to fit together and look nice together because it's the same color palette so let's move on to something else i've also got the sweet sorbet patterned paper pad i think this was the thing that originally got me interested in this collection i'm not sure why because it's not really anything groundbreaking but <laughs> i just really like the color palette and all the patterns i don't know i can't resist these i think i've got probably i don't know 10 15 of these little tonic paper pads if you saw my black friday haul last year they had a massive sale on all the paper pads and you could buy nearly all of them in a bundle for like some ridiculous price like 15 pounds so um, i've got loads and i am ashamed to admit i have opened none of them <laughs> Does anybody else have something in their craft room that they've got an absolute ton of and they love but it's just never been opened? Because if you do, please tell me in the comments and make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> that is the Sweet Sorbet paper pad. It is 6x6, is 160 GSM and there's 8 designs. You get 6 sheets of each design and 24 sheets in total so and it's all double-sided as well so i am considering doing a video where i just use the products from the sweet sorbet collection to make a bunch of cards i'll probably have to bring in like i don't know a, a stamp a couple of stamp sets maybe to go along with it but if you would like to see something like that let me know maybe that will help you get some inspiration for your own cards if i find time in between doing my ridiculous amount of hauls <laughs> Moving on from the Sweet Sorbet collection, there is a few more bits at the bottom of this pile to show you, but um, we'll, we'll do these first because they're shiny and they're distracting me. I got a bunch of their mirror card. Now, I've not seen this before, so I don't know if it's new. This this didn't come like this. This is my fault for like piling stuff on top of it. It is coloured iridescent card. And I don't know if you can see like this. This is just amazing. Like, what is this magic? Look at it. Oh my good lord. I, it's like the Northern Lights. It's incredible. 
Uh, this one is Marina Mist. I think this comes in six or eight colours. I didn't get all the colours. I, I nearly got all the colours, but then I, th I was like, no, Ali, you've got no more room for cardstock, so you can only get four. <laughs> got marina mist you get five sheets in here and it's 250 gsm and a4 something like this i think five sheets is a perfect amount because you can get so many die cuts or little elements out of this and this is mostly what i would use this for is for die cutting so let, let's look at the other colors um that's marina mist this one is petal pink you can see they, they're kind of they're similar in a way because they're all iridescent but there's different colors running through all of them so this is like a pinky one i could just look at this all day anyone else oh my good lord um also got purple rain so that's a nice prince reference for any prince fans out there i love a bit of prince that's gorgeous i think prince would be very happy to have that named after his song wouldn't you <laughs> wow so pretty and the last one i got is called tidal wave which is another blue one but it's a little bit darker and this this very much reminds me of the ocean oh my goodness they're just absolutely gorgeous aren't they let me know in the comments what you would use these for i'd love to get some inspiration from you guys so yeah so the last things are the papers from the sweet sorbet collection this is miami mint luxury embossed card so you can see the pattern on it it's almost like vines i think it's a little bit abstract but it reminds me of vines i thought that was a really really nice color just i, I love a bit of mint I love a bit of mint and then there's blue cashmere oh, what a beautiful word blue cashmere <laughs> people always tell me they love my accent i think it's mostly americans that tell me they love my accent because I, I do sound like quite a posh british person i'm not I'm not particularly posh. And every time somebody tells me they love my voice, I go all like gooey inside. So thank you to everybody that does that. It always makes me laugh. So this is Blue Cashmere Pearlescent Card. It's 250 GSM. It's actually double-sided, this one. Take from that what you will. If you like to make double-sided projects, this is ideal, isn't it? There's also a mirror card in here in Soft Amethyst. This is a satin effect, so it's a little bit more soft than like a straight mirror card. That's really nice. I think I have almost all of the mirror cards that Tonic do. <laughs> I may have a problem. There is a classic card here, Sugared Lilac. This is 10 sheets, 216 GSM. I've been filming this video for so long, I've forgotten how to speak. <laughs> It is weave textured. I love the texture on the tonic card. It's just so, so nice. I think somebody said in my comments once that they thought it, it was like fabric. The last one is their specialty papers in pink marshmallow. Now these are handcrafted cotton papers and you get five sheets in here. A really pretty chevron pattern. I love the colour. So those are all my bits from Tonic this month. I could have got a lot more. I did have a lot more stuff in my basket, but um, I just, I had to, I had to tone it down a little bit. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm getting my kitchen done at the end of this month and there's still a lot of things I need to buy for my new kitchen. I shouldn't be spending all my money on craft supplies, but I did still spend 70 pounds at Tonic. <laughs> <laughs> but shh i won't tell if you don't <laughs> so here's all the lovely stuff we have to swatch i am very excited to get stuck into these i think i'm going to start with the wow embossing powders and then we'll move on to the nouveau stuff afterwards and this is actually how i store my swatches of my embossing powders so i have them all every, all of the embossing powders i have on these little tags and then there's a little ring here so whenever I want to do some heat embossing I can look through every single colour and decide which one works best on my project um, so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some new ones of these so all I do really is just like try and get loads and loads of Versamark ink on the tag Sometimes on projects that I like to use glue, that can work as well, especially for like ultra high ones. I'm gonna do Chenny's Sky first. So that one is Chenny's Sky. And I would probably describe that one as like a really, really inky indigo with lots of white running through it. It's perfect for doing like a night sky. I think it's, that's so, so gorgeous. I'm going to do Silly's Fog next. So 
So that one is Silly's Fog. Um, that one is just, I think I've done a better job heat embossing that one because all of the, the little white bits have kind of spread out. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better. So it reminds me of acrylic pouring art where they get the little cells that spread out. So I really like that. And the next one is Manuela's Honey. That one is Manuela's Honey. That's really nice. I love that colour. One of the things with these, it's a little bit hard to tell when the embossing powder is all melted. It's a bit worried about burning it, but I seem to have done it okay there. So I love that one. Okay, I'm going to do opaque vanilla white next. So that's the op opaque vanilla white. It is, it's really pretty, I think. Just like a really, really pale cream, sort of vanilla-y. Really like that. Something a little bit different, but still, you know, like a nice classic neutral. So the ones we've got left to swatch are the Ancient Jewels embossing glitters from this collection. So there's three of these that all go together. Let's start with Decadent Ruby. Ooh. Wow. So that's Decadent Ruby. I think that's really, really interesting. Like on first glance, if you look straight at it, it just looks gold. It's not, it's got like a red burgundy undertone. I think that's really, really interesting. I'm doing Egyptian turquoise next. Oh, there's a bit of paper in that one. <laughs> oh, a few bits of paper. Hmm. Just gorgeous, aren't they? I think what they've done here is use like a more finely milled colour for the base and then there's like an ultra high brass colour on top so it almost covers all the colour but isn't that gorgeous? It's like really vintagey. This is the last embossing powder from WoW that we have to look at. It is Royal Emerald. Now this one's come out a little bit different but I think that might be me putting slightly less embossing powder. It's just gorgeous. I definitely think you can get different results with these depending on how much powder you use. So if you just use a little bit, so this one I can see like more of the green. It's just so gorgeous. I think if you really love like vintagey or like shabby chic kind of projects, these would be right up your street. So it's time to try this Nouveau embossing powder now. This one is in Fairy Dust. So that is Nouveau Fairy Dust, the pink. It's a little bit hard to see. It is a really, really nice pale pink. It's a little bit washed out on camera, but. So here we go. They're all on my embossing thing now. I just want to show you the difference. So that one on the top is the bright white and the one underneath is the vanilla white. So there is quite a subtle difference between the two but this one's definitely more yellow toned so it's a nice to have both as an option let's on to the nouveau stuff i'm gonna use some mixed media paper for this just because it's nice and thick the ink pads i think so we've got sunrise yellow gorgeous color then we've got borrowed light equally lovely and then pink skies wow aren't they pretty gorgeous colors i think they might dry a little lighter so we'll leave these to dry and have a look at them again in a minute i think the mist next so this is the nouveau sparkle spray in frosted lemon let's see what this looks like So shimmery. We'll have a look at that again when it's dry, I think. 
also got the two Nouveau drops. So we'll start with the jewel drops in a pink aura. Gorgeous colour. And then the crystal drops are in French lilac. There they are together. So pretty. We'll have a look at them again when they're dry. Also got the embellishment mousses. This one is pink unicorn. Of course you'd usually use the embellishment mousse through a stencil or another mixed media technique. I still think it's worth seeing what it looks like applied to paper. That's such a really gorgeous baby pink colour. And then we've got angel eyes which is the blue. And that one is angel eyes. Those two look really gorgeous together, don't they? Love that. Really, really pretty. And the last thing we've got to test is the Glacier Paste in Pixie Wings. It's really full, this one. Gorgeous, like lavendery colour. So pretty. Again, we'll have a look at it when it's dry. They're all pretty much dry now. Such a gorgeous colour palette. I think these would be really, really fun to use for tons of techniques. I love it. And spray. That is gorgeous. So shimmery. So shimmery and sparkly. I love it. We've got the drops. They're both really pretty. My favourites are the pink ones. They're just so gorgeous because they're a bit translucent. Got the embellishment mousse. So pretty both gorgeous colours and the glacier paste so shiny i'm so excited to use all of these on some projects so that is everything in my haul for this month i really hope you enjoyed the haul and also the swatches at the end let me know if that's something you'd like to see in future hauls i just take a little bit more work to do but i don't mind doing it for you guys especially when it's things like embossing powder because you really can't tell what the product is like unless you see it demoed let me know what your favorite product was if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up because that really really helps my channel i really want to get my videos out to more people and have more of you wonderful people join the family here on youtube i'm getting quite close to 2,000 subscribers now which is it is incredible that 2,000 people would like want to watch my videos on youtube so if you are one of those subscribers thank you so much it really means the world to me i look forward to chatting with you all in the comments and seeing you back here on my channel again soon bye guys